Up into fourth position is Peter Sagan taking a few risks going around that corner. This is a very sharp turn here now as they start to go, but look at this now as BMC lead out, but Sagan is coming. He is using this. He's never been here before, but they know he's here now. Peter Sagan is going clear. He gets his 15th win of the year. He reminds us all of his sponsors that Champino Slovakia has delivered. Well, he really is a phenomenal athlete. He stayed calm. He went into that breakaway move. He didn't save everything. That's Greg Van Avermaet, who's come across the line in second place. He's a very disappointed rider. His team did all of the work to get him up there. But, you know, when Peter Sargenfield, when he can see that finishing line, he's almost unstoppable. There he is, number 51. And man not afraid, Paul, even though he knows of his spinning talent to attack. We saw him try to go in that group. It didn't work. He recovered with enough uh, to take the sprint out from a man who's on top of his form in Greg van Evermaat, former champion of Belgium. Again, obviously listening to the advice of Jens Voigt. If you want to ride well in the USA Pro Challenge, you've got to come to Colorado a couple of weeks beforehand, get yourself yeah. acclimatized. He's trained hard around here to, to get himself to this level. He didn't participate in the Tour of Utah, but he did train hard to get himself this opening victory. This is a man who's been winning races since February this year. That's his 15th win of the year. He won two stages in the Tour of Oman, where he led that race for a couple of days. We've seen him in action in the Tour de France, where he won for the second year the points competition and the green jersey in that race. You remember, Phil, when he first came to the Amgen Tour of California a couple of years ago, he couldn't speak a word of English. Yeah. Now he's extremely fluent. He loves coming they to love race him. in the United States. The crowd love him. He got the biggest cheer of everybody when the crowd were introduced to the riders this morning. And now he's back here at the winner after three circuits there. <laughs> he just poured water over his team masseur there. <laughs> Not that they can do. <laughs> well, he's uh, going to be very happy. He's going to have to try and defend that, the overall lead tomorrow, though, Phil, because it's going to be very, very difficult uh, when we go over Independence Pass to begin with and Hosea Pass down towards the end of the day on what will be a long day in the saddle. 126 yeah. miles of racing on the recipe for tomorrow. That is true, and Sagan is not there. Oh, really, he would never let you down, that man. Last time we saw him do that, he was in the valley at the foot of Mont Ventoux in the Tour de France, where he had no chance of winning that particular day, but that was a victory roll there. Well, bear in mind, uh, he's had a very 